Aru, Wild Pack. It's Mama Bear, a.k.a. Bernadette. And I'm here with your monthly pick a card, tarot reading, animal scopes, all kinds of wonderful information for you to help you get through your month, through each day, through your week. Just we're here for it all. And we're going to get through it all together because <laughs> May, y'all, this is like Mother May I. It's like that game we played in 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 school, mother, may I do this? Mother, may I do that? Because Gaia and the heavens above are just sending this message and that message and that message and that message. And how the heck do you know what message to follow? What message to pay attention to? Well, I am here to tell you May is this year is the month that I am officially dubbing. Um, yes, I am officially dubbing the uh, connect the dots, like bring ladybug energy into your life this month, because there are so many options that if you feel like you're losing your mind because you can't focus on just one thing and you'll like come up with this, but then you need to do that. And then, oh yeah, but wait about this, but oh dang it, I need to do that. And you're like back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's this May. So Let's get started and let's talk about the spirit animal for this month, which is bah, 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 dolphin. Yay. And in my deck, uh, the dolphin is the Knight of Cups. And if you're, uh, do I even have one? I am, <laughs> I've got to tell you, marketing. Good night. You'd think I'd have a copy of my own deck sitting right up here to go. And only for, you know, $39.99, you can have, you know, the best animal deck and the most comprehensive animal deck, la, 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 la. But I don't. Uh, I'll figure, I'll get it before we get off this call or before, I'll get it. But anyway, so let's talk about the uh, dolphin as the spirit animal, totem animal, and power animal for your uh, pick a card tarot reading for the month of May. You know, when you start to talk about dolphin symbolism, it's really easy to anthropomorphize them, which is take a look at that, you know, smile that they seem to have on their face at all time and take a look at their cutie pie antics and all the things that they're known for, like randomly saving other fishy fishies, um, helping out whales when whales are being attacked by sharks. And uh, I love every creature on, I do. I love every creature on this planet. I I am the spirit animal lady. Truly I am, but sharks. So there you go. Uh, that said, there is a darker side to dolphins that is, you know, heavily studied because they're such a dichotomy. They are, and some people would call that balance, right? Some people in some cultures, dark, you know, nighttime brings the presence of evil spirits and this and that. And light time is when, you know, God shows up or the angels show up and the spirit animal guides. And there's always that, you know, like the yin and the yang, the light and the dark, you get it. All right. So, cause you're a spiritual people, I know. So it really is that way also with dolphin. And so what I will tell you that for your pick a card reading this month, and dolphin being the spirit totem and power animal. Uh, and if you don't know the difference, look down in the, the notes section and there's a link down there to a video that I did. I'm redoing it, but um, about the difference between spirit totem and power animals. There's not really, but the animal spirit guide world downloaded into me a new system for working with those spirits that make it so much easier. And to be honest, so much more powerful. Holy guacamole the readings, the accuracy, the power that people are writing me every single day about when they are working with um, the ARC animal. Do I have that somewhere here? Well, yes, I do. There it is. Um, the ARC animal tarot and oracle deck, uh, which is the deck that I created a couple of years ago. And uh, hold on, y'all. God almighty. There it is. There it is. Um, and I probably could have just as easily put up a, a picture, but anyway, nonetheless, um, it's just, it's remarkable that the power and the messages that the animals add to the tarot, or you can also work with the deck as an Oracle deck where I'm going with this is because there are two sides to the dolphin, 
and May is everything about May symbolism is all about the solar plexus chakra. It's about the creativity. Its colors are yellow and green, right? So if we stick with the yellow for the solar plexus chakra and we stick with the green for the heart chakra, we are talking about there's every reason in the world you're being pulled in a lot of different directions. If you're watching my channel, you're a person of a lot of different passions and you're a person, a really creative person with so many things that you want to accomplish in this life and so many things that you want to contribute to this world. How the heck do you know which ones to do? Well, the answer is do as many as you can, um, you know, in whatever way that you can. You don't have to devote your entire life to just one thing. You can do this for a while and this for a while and come back to this. And it, the world is your oyster bubble. You could do whatever you want because you're free. You're a wild and free spirit. And that's, that's the bottom line. There, there should be nothing and no one holding you down, even yourself. So when we tap into working with um, dolphin symbolism and meaning, right? We're, we're talking about uh, an energy that is so about abundance and connecting with your deepest emotions which is always where you want to go. I mean, listen, I'm a score. I'm triple Scorpio, right? So I deep dive into everything head first. Wham, pff, there I go. And sometimes I get to come up for air. And sometimes, oh, sometimes the sea creatures hold me under and go, quit doing that. Quit jumping in without looking first, you bum. And, uh, and I haven't stopped it. So in any event, I will tell you that may, no matter if you're, like here, there, and everywhere is a tremendous month for you to really take a deep look at what your passions are and what do you really want to pursue? What is going to give you that same happy smile that we perceive that we see on dolphins' faces? Now, the other thing is dolphins are really well known for helping the underdog. They're, you know, they're, they're known for saving, you know, we talked about that a little bit earlier. And the other thing that they're known for in many different cultures is being a ferryman to the other world so that, you know, when poor souls would perish in the oceans and the seas, they would come get them and they would take them to not necessarily the underworld, but the other side, um, to the heavens. If they were supposed to go to the underworld, they'd go to the underworld. So dolphins in many cultures have been uh, associated with helping souls get to those different places. And May is also a part of that symbolism. It's regeneration. And there, whatever you need to regenerate, like I, I, I asked a friend the other day, there was a project. Um, well, actually it's a project we're working on and we hadn't worked on it in about a year for many different, really good reasons, but we hadn't. And those reasons are gone now. And I, that, man, that's this project, which I'll be able to announce here in a little bit, uh, has just been on my heart. And so I called her and I said, listen, I said, here's what I'm feeling. Here's what's happening for me. Could you fall in love with this project again and want to commit time, energy, focus, whatever to it? And she said, I never fell out of love with it. it we all have just been waiting for you. And I was like, dope. I had no idea. Well, my solar plexus got to go in flee and my heart chakra got to go in flee and that was it. So there's a lot of dolphin energy in that the, just the way that dolphins can navigate with the speed that they do through the waters. And they're always there to help, you know, somebody if they, if they need them. But they, again, they do have a darker side to them. I, I'll leave you to look that up if you care to do that. And so you've got to be careful when you're making your choices. Yes, go with your passions, but keep your, keep dolphin as a spirit animal in mind in that if dolphin has come to you as a spirit animal, if you've called dolphin into you as a spirit animal, be sure why you called in dolphin as a spirit animal. Be sure why. And you might find that there's a little bit of shadow work that could be useful to you if it's, you know, if it's done. 
And then when we talk about the dolphin as the Knight of Cups, as it is in the Ark uh, Animal Tarot, we, you know, we talk about a youth that is just ready and willing to go there with the emotions and the cup runneth over. And there are a lot of really good things to love about that knight in quote unquote shining armor, just like there are a lot of things to love about the dolphin. And then when we talk about, you know, let's say that you're going to work with dolphin as a totem animal and a totem animal in the system that I work with that, you know, the animal allies told me to create, that is a person who is a dolphin. So for instance, there's a reason everybody calls me mama bear. I mean, I was, bear was my spirit power and totem animal long, long, long before people called me mama bear, like decades before, because I really, if I were going to be any animal and you are all animals inside, just know that that's why we're all connected. You are everybody and everybody is you. And like, like likewise, with the vegetation, with the animals, with every living thing, right? Okay, that's the theory. Can I prove that to you? No, but that's what I believe in. Um, that's my theory. So all of that being said, if you, you may very well identify heavily with, with dolphin as your totem, because in so many cultures, um, when I was researching this article, the dolphin, that the, the link to the article on my website, whatismyspiritanimal.com, uh, is down also in the, in the little section right below. You can click and read, you know, get deeper into that symbolism and meaning and all that kind of thing for dolphin. Um, I was really surprised at how many cultures really see dolphins as, um, not just the ferryman to take you to other worlds, but they, they see them as, I guess really the best way to say it is uh, light bringers. And it, it doesn't surprise me, again, if you identify with dolphin, because an, an, another thing that they, so many different cultures have a, have a myth, have a fable that dolphins are, are actually, they started out as humans. And they went into the waters and morphed into, transmuted into, transformed into dolphins so that they could help humans from the waters. And I love that because uh, starfish have very much a, a, a similar fable uh, throughout some cultures where the stars fell from the skies, from the heavens, and fell into the waters to live forevermore in the waters to help humans in all the different ways that starfish help humans energetically, spiritually, that nature of thing. So if you uh, believe in that, or you, you, you could, I guess, um, you know, wrap your head around that and why wouldn't, you know, why not believe in it? Then you, you very well may could be, um, you could have real dolphin in you because if, and I know how crazy that sounds. Please don't email me and tell me, Mama Bear, you've lost your mind. I get how crazy that sounds, but you never know what kind of DNA has been passed through this, 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 and this. We haven't tested every DNA, everything in the world. You just never know. That said, um, take that with a grain of salt, but you get, you get my drift. Then if you take a look at dolphin as a power animal, now you step out of the dolphin who you already are and you step out of the dolphin to be human for a little while to accomplish what you need to accomplish. Well, what are the powers of dolphin and what, what do you need which powers for in your life to accomplish what you want to accomplish? Now, listen, I'm going to say this again. You do what you want in your own life, but I'm mama bear. <laughs> and so mama bear, Ah, uh, this isn't psychic, what I'm about to tell you. And this isn't even a tarot reading, what I'm about to tell you. This is just plain good old fashioned sense. Boy, you might want to be tempted to use the power of dolphin to do uh, some of the things that dolphins can do. And that is one of those things is absolutely wreck someone else's emotions. You could do that. Dolphins swim in the deepest of waters. They are connected to 
everything emotionally in this world and probably worlds beyond us. I, I would bet. Can I prove it? No, but would I bet it? Absolutely, I would. In which case I might lose because I can't prove it. But anyway, uh, maybe I should just go to Vegas and play the slots and drink free crappy margaritas. That sounds a lot better. But anyway, who wants to go to Vegas with Mama Bear? Road trip! Okay, so careful as you go because it's very tempting to align your energy in with dolphin or any other animal. I align my energy with bison all the time, all the time. I've seen them. They're bigger than cars. And they're anyway, but dolphin are fast and they're very strong and they are, we listen, if you haven't heard about dolphins, unbelievable intelligence, Google is your friend, read up on it and you will fall out of your chair. So by the time you start adding all the amazing attributes of dolphin, and then you, you align with that energy, you get in deeper relationship with that energy. And now you're doing prayer work. Um, you've got a sacred altar built up and you're doing manifestations or mantras that you've written or, uh, you know, however you've called in that power, um, um, spell work, then you're starting to create a real thing, like a real entity, a real energy that goes out and does your bidding, basically. I mean, if you boil it down to brass tacks, that's, that is what happens. You, you recalibrate the energy around yourself when you do those things. And then the world starts to spin in accordance with how you've calibrated it if that makes sense. It's kind of like turning on a fan, you know, low, low, medium or high, you know, dealer's choice. Man, I got Vegas on my mind. Serious business, y'all, let's go to Vegas. Um, or Biloxi. Biloxi's not but six hours from me. I'll meet y'all in Biloxi. And we'll have some fantastic uh, Southern, we'll have Creole food all weekend long. And hurricanes. Oh my God, hurricanes. Okay, I'm back. So I would really caution you to give serious consideration to what you want to accomplish in May, because whatever, if you're going to do that, if you're going to work with dolphin energy, you're, and we know May is about regeneration and abundance and, you know, you're planting your garden. It's all coming. It's going to come to fruition. <laughs> you're talking about a lot of power. Be, be clear that you're ready for it and in a positive way. Things that are positive that can come to you can also be as shocking or as overwhelming or, you know, that's all the negative stuff. But you're, pff, pff, please, you're a wild one. You're part of the wild pack. Pff, 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 pff. Nothing can intimidate you. Come on now. Don't, don't even think about that. Don't, don't even give it credence except for if it happens and you're like, ah, it's all happening at once. Yep. But you can take it one little step at a time, one little swim at a time, one little swim at a time, right? I'm, what is it? Dory um, swim in, just keep swimming. Just keep, is that what it is? I can't remember that one, but um, yeah. So it's, it's a crazy month coming up, but it's an auspicious month, a really auspicious month. And then you, there are so many other ways that you can go with this. I mean, if you are really into shamanism, read up on the indigenous cultures around this country, around the United States, and they're, they esteem dolphins like my goodness. And then you start looking at other countries, um, the Celtics, oh my God, the Celts and their ever never ending love for dolphins, because you see, they were the ones that did go out to sea. They were the ones that did have the boats and did interact with the dolphins and did see them and, you know, thought they were mermaids for a little while. Of course, manatees could be mermaids too. That that's another myth, myth that's out there um, of when sailors first saw manatees, that nature of thing. But really at the end of the day, it, <laughs> you know, the, well, well, and let me say this, the, uh, the crystal, the healing crystal for May is emerald. And we all know what emerald's about. I mean, it's about all those same things. It's about abundance. It's, 
It can be because of its green color. It can be tied to your heart chakra. It can be, you know, family. It, it, there, there are a lot of things that emeralds mean that really can fit into all of the symbolism and meanings um, that are surrounding May, surrounding the king, you know, remember the Knight of Cups is involved in this reading. Then we've got dolphin as a spirit totem and power animal. And it might seem like I'm talking in circles, but I'm not. What I'm, what I'm trying to express again is that you have a lot of choices that can be made in May. And May can really feel like you are in a blender or a food processor, you know, or you're like, you're that light candy, cotton candy stuff that spins around that they do this. And then you got a big pile of sponge sugar. Um, you could be a big pile of sponge sugar because I know you're sweet as can be. So it, I, 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 it's the yin and the yang people. That's what it really is. It's just about finding your own balance, but be very, very sure that it's tied to your heart chakra. It's not about what this person thinks you should do or not do, or this person thinks you should do and not do. It's, this is a relationship between you and spirit. And that's just that you and spirit. So you figure that out. And, you know, I, I'm terrible at journaling. I've said it before and I'll say it again, but I, I, I am great at note taking. And I discovered that, oh my gosh, there is a perfect example. Okay. I'm involved in a number of different projects and everybody tells me to journal about them. And I just, I can't do it. I don't want to do it. I just don't. But if you ask me to set up a Google folder in Google drive and keep meticulous notes, and I mean meticulous notes, Ah, mama bears your girl. Yeah, buddy. I mean, I am a note taking fool. But if I call it journaling, I'm just like, oh, do we have any more ice cream? And my middle sister's like, what, what's not going right now? I'm like journaling. So that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. I have a choice to make. I know I've got to take these notes. I know I've got to write these things down and I understand that journaling is supposed to be personal and include your feelings, nothing more than feelings. I, I don't have time for feelings. So I, but I do have time for notes and I do like taking them and I do like keeping them in order because I'm a weirdo. And once I flipped the script in my head and went with my heart passion, which is note taking, journaling to journaling. You may love it. I hope you do because I'm actually creating a couple of different spirit animal journals. They're so cool. You guys. So, um, I, that's what it is during May flip the script, find the phrases, find the ways of describing things that can help you focus, help you achieve what you want to achieve and just put one foot in front of the other one foot in front of the other and realize that really when it comes down to it, the only thing that dolphins have to be truly afraid of in open, you know, in the waters are sharks. Um, I think, I don't even know what they're natural prey for. I think only sharks are they natural prey for, Oh, you know, a big giant squid might bump into them or something every once in a while, but I don't even know that to be true. But what that means really is that you don't have any natural enemies unless it's yourself. So don't be your own natural enemy. Be, be your own hero, which is what you watch dolphins do. Be your own hero this month and make your own choices and, and, and find the ways to create what your heart chakra is calling you to create because your heart chakra and your solar plexus chakra this month, they're like, and did you see? And blah, 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 and she should, and oh my God, blah. I mean, you know, like they're over, they're over there having a whole conversation about you and you're like, la, 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 even though it's going on inside of you, quit doing that. But we all do. So anyway, I think that's enough for now. That should get you along through uh, most of the month. And if you have any questions, please write me. 
uh, Bernadette at what is my spirit animal.com or Bernadette at building beautiful souls.com. And I love you. And let's see, is there anything else I need to add? I don't think so. So do good for animals, including yourself and stay wild.